Alright, so it's not like I haven't played this game enough in the past with 650 hours of playtime. Reflex man, it is time to play some MX vs ATV Reflex. What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you guys haven't joined the Goon Army already, go ahead and do so guys. Go down there, click that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button if you guys do enjoy this video at any point in time. And let me know in the comments below, have you guys played Reflex before? Do you guys know what Reflex is all about? Or is Reflex something that is new? Even though it's like 10 years old, nine years old, however old it is. Is Reflex a new game to you? Let me know in the comments below. Today, I have something a, a little crazy planned. It's kind of uh, a little unique, a little different. It is a custom track. You guys probably already know what's going on from the title of this video. The Stuart Compound, it is time to check it out. I haven't played Reflex in a while. This is your little teaser. Look at it, man. It is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like the MX vs ATV Alive Stuart compound, but reversed. So yeah, let's get right in to the action. All right, so I'm gonna be 100% honest. I am, like, even though I've played this game for so long, put 650 hours into it, I'm still a complete goon, and now that I haven't played it in a while, I'm probably even worse. Um, yeah, it's still a fun game. I still love throwing down on some reflex, and when we can check out a track like this, man, I cannot pass up this opportunity. So, it has been out for a while. I will link it down below in the description if you guys do want to check it out for yourselves but it's, it's the Stuart compound man I guess it's not reversed right it's not reversed from alive I was just I was tripping in the intro I was it's fast it's flowy I would say it's a little under scaled but at the same time I think if it was scaled any bigger it wouldn't really feel right I think it looks amazing I, I really think that the scaling is on point. It is really easy, as you guys are seeing, to over jump everything on a 450. You really don't need a 450 on this track. Yeah, you just don't. It would probably be really fun on a 125, which I don't have because my game reset. Steam hates me. I don't know why when I played it earlier, I totally thought it was reversed from MX vs ATV Alive, but it's totally not. I wonder if they somehow pulled the track map from Alive. All right, guys, this is editing Goonzig, and you'll probably recognize this location from the thumbnail, but I just wanna say, I wanted to throw this in at this point in the video because I wanna say that I think the track map was probably just like pirated, pirated, that's not the right word, stolen, thief, taken from somewhere else and imported into reflex i'm just saying that because that is the supercross track in the background there and uh yeah uh i think the track map was probably i i, I don't know maybe it's the one from alive i don't really know <laughs> i really don't that could explain the scaling it really could like look at this there's no way i'm hitting that landing i'm going to the oh Usually I ride out of it, but I go to the moon on that jump every lap. But if you guys have been long time fans here on the channel, you know, you guys know that Reflex is pro probably <laughs> my favorite motocross game of all time. Um, even with crashes like <laughs> that, moments like this, wow. What a goon, I am a goon. But I think this is kind of just gonna be like, I mean, like the good old days of Reflex, a chill, custom track video just taking a look at the Stuart compound seeing what I can get up to I don't think I'm gonna be hitting any any gnarly lines or hot laps especially if I just keep like over jumping jumps and stuff like that like man I'm struggling out here but yeah a chill video it's always good to do a chill video and I think I have man I was gonna throw a ton of banger videos out this week but I just don't have the time so trust me in the near future oh, I have some things planned. I really do. I was gonna do 30 laps on this track. 30 laps, but I just didn't have enough time. <laughs> so now talking about the track, like I said, it does feel like it's scaled a little small, but I do think 
that if it was scaled any bigger, it just wouldn't feel right, it wouldn't look right, it wouldn't ride right. And I think it's done pretty dang good. The textures, the objects, and like I said, the way it rides, it is good. You can actually, I mean, get caught in the ruts. The roughness affects you. You kind of have to choose your lines wisely. And while it is easy to, like, make the jumps on a 450, like, right here is actually a perfect example. I think it's better if you take a step back and land the jump smooth and focus on smooth, clean laps. Not over jumping everything and just sending it like I am. So you can triple in, triple double, and then kind of getting into a double double flow. Not really. Never mind. I made it up. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a super difficult track at the same time. It's not super easy. You do have to try to like hit the corners good and rail your ruts nail your lines and in the long run i think it's going to be quicker to hit your landings and not just hold it balls to the wall so i'm going to try and hit a clean lap i don't even know where the finish line or anything is so this is going to be interesting finish line's like right here isn't it it should be maybe they made it like this jump this thing maybe this tabletop Burr up no where's the finish line man what the heck am i lost am i confused it's that. Okay, it's that jump. Let's see if I can get a clean lap in around the outside. Oh, I messed up already. Already I messed up. Alright, so scratch that. Since I can't hit clean laps on a 450, let's try and get a Sendy on a 125. I think the track's actually going to ride somewhat better on a 125. Just because, like I was saying, you actually have to try and hit your landings. And uh, I think that's how you're gonna hit clean fast laps on this track so let's see what i can get up to on this one bunger like listen to it purr man it is purring especially when we get in that back section oh man we're gonna be holding this thing wide open all the way so let's go send it up over this jump we could probably scrub that if i'm being honest a little double right there over this hill, okay, scrub it up, dub. Don't want to get too sketchy, too sandy with it. I don't want to go down in any silly ways. If I can hit some clean one, two, five laps for you guys, oh, bring you guys back to the good old Bubba Stewart days. I will do my best. <laughs> Nothing beats James on a one, two, five. Probably one of the most iconic things I've ever witnessed in Moto. This jump's not that big. The track totally used to go the other way. Oh, um, yep. I'm alive. You guys saw nothing. I didn't over jump, jump that to the moon. No, 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 that didn't happen. Okay. I don't know how I'm on two wheels, but I am going really, really slowly through this section. But hey, I'm not complaining because I'm on two wheels. I didn't go down. <laughs> double. Big old double. Land, get on the gas. Let's see if I can actually survive through this section. Okay, here we go. This part of the track feels totally different. I don't know what's different about it, but it's totally different from Alive. The last time I probably played this track was back when like Alive was the main MX game. So to play it here now, like I'm trying to remember you guys will probably correct me in the comments, but is this the same layout as Alive? Like, for the most part, it feels like it is, and then there are certain sections that are, I'm like, nope, that is not the same. So, uh, yeah, it could be the same, it could not be the same. It's a decent lap, though. Scrub it up, dub up over here, 228. Let's try and beat that. Beat that lap. I wanted to hit that inside. Maybe carrying my speed is the way to go. And I can try and scrub some of these jumps. That, it's kind of like a step up there. I don't know if I want to get risky on that bad boy. This one, we're up. Scrub that double. Oh, man. I just know that section is the same as alive. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but I can act like I did, right? <laughs> Started to lose the back end, but it just actually worked. That I kind of scrubbed it up and over. I'm landing front end heavy on every single one of these scrubs. That is an issue. 
That is an issue. Alright. Lock up the brakes. Almost got that inside. <laughs> My back end. <laughs> Missed it. I'm getting so sketchy. <laughs> so sketchy. Through here. Hurrah. Scrub a dub dub. Now I gotta remember. Little scrub a dub dub. Not a lot of gas through there. And I wanna land. Oh, I wanted to catch that outside. Not as clean as I would have hoped. But once again, I'm on two wheels, right? <laughs> scrub a dub dub up over the finish line. 227. I was actually. Oh, man. I was a second quicker. And I was feeling good starting off that lap with that scrub. But I went down. I, I ate it, guys. I did. So I think that's where I'm going to end it. That has been kind of a chill. MX vs ATV Reflex video showcasing the Stuart Compound MX track. Like, a ton of fun can be had on this track. It's definitely, from my experiences, a track where I go off track a ton. But for real though, it's definitely kind of a 125, maybe 250F type of track. I was definitely having a little more fun on the 125 because it was a little more challenging to make the jumps and yeah, yeah, I actually had to be on it so i hope you guys did enjoy if you want to see more reflex type more reflex in the comment section and let me know grab some merch guys the link is in the description and other than that it's your boy goonzig signing off i'll catch you in the next one peace